come across the Pacific Ocean to your fine country. It's uh, 6,000 miles across the Pacific Ocean to ride the 3,000 miles across America. How do you feel about this? Uh, prepared, prepared both within myself and my team. I don't think I could have uh, picked a better support team than what I've got. So feeling ready. I'm aware it's a, just a huge undertaking, but uh, yeah, I'm ready. Why are you doing it in the first place? Um, for me, challenge. I first read about it approximately 26 years ago when I started to do Ironman. And I've done the Ironman several times. I've done a few shorter cycling enduros, like 800 milers. So I thought, well, I qualified for this, so you know, why not go for the big one? It's only, it's only 3.75 times more than what I've ever cycled in my life, so I'll try and do it while I'm still young enough to do it, you know. How have you been training? Um, just a big variety. Um, trying to do some longer rides. Been um, just trying to ride lots. In the words of the great Eddie Merckx, ride lots, yeah. Um, doing some weird sort of training, like getting used to broken sleep. Quite often I'll get up at 2 o'clock in the morning, do a session on the spin trainer, or maybe if the weather's good, get out on the road and go for a ride in the early hours of the mornings, that sort of thing. Have you ever driven across the US to get a feel for what, the, what it's like? Good Lord, now I'm a tourist. This is the first time I've ever been to the States. <laughs> so just going to do a bit of, uh, maybe fulfill my ambition to do the RAM and do a bit of low-speed tourism across your fine country.